everybody is as strong as you are we know that people are different in so many different ways this is particularly true when it comes to the way people handle difficult times and situations you might be internally strong mentally and emotionally and physically and spiritually you might be that person you might be invincible or regardless of any situation you might still have enough strength to stay on your feet and to keep moving forward some people are like that but there are many other people who are not like that and these these are people those are people they might be family members partners spouses friends neighbors people in your community in your staff colleagues sometimes even bosses not everybody is as strong as you are so what do you do you let them be that's what you do you respect their humanity you respect their authenticity you respect their nature you respect who they are and you never ever look at them as weak or imperfect in fact they're not weak it's just different level of strengths because if they were really really weak they would not have made it so far in life they just have different levels of strengths or different types of strengths so what do you do you respect them how do you respect that how do you manifest your respect and your empathy and sympathy with them how do you do that by giving them time you give them the time that they personally need to pick themselves up and to heal and that is definitely different than the time you need or other people need because everyone needs his or her own time because everybody has their own story everybody has their own wounds their own scars they're fighting their own battles everybody is a different stage in life we can't make judgments that everybody should react in the same way to adversity you can't do that it's unfair so we let them express themselves the way they naturally do just let them be and we give them all the time they need and we listen and listen and listen and listen <laughs> I don't know if there's if there are mechanisms that are more powerful support mechanisms that are more powerful than just listening listening with full attention the core of listening is attention just being there and listening to them without interruption without preaching them without pep talk without motivational phrases without any of this sometimes we just need to be there and not say a word and when you feel that you, you there is an urge within you to advise and preach and just restrain yourself and don't do that because you when you listen to them you're helping them heal you're helping them recharge you're helping them pick themselves as themselves again pick themselves up again you're helping them summon their strengths again just by listening serious compassionate active attentive listening you might feel tempted to share your own stories don't do that if they say something that triggers your own stories don't do that this is not about you this is about them when it's your turn you find your own time you find your own people who will listen to you but now it's their time if you are deciding to support these people 
and wait and wait until they heal if you find there are other technical issues that you can do to help them to support them then do that and there are limitless ways of doing that just be guided by their need they need material support if you can't do that do it they need physical support do it you ne they need expert support do that they need emotional support uh, wisdom insights advice if they need it and they ask for it do that <laughs>